hello guys welcome to the channel in this video i am going to present you the most easy installation of this software called as focus focus is one of the easiest tool there which is ai powered that lets you create images from your text prompts and if you look at these images look at the quality these images have been generated by focus i already have covered focus last year but there have been lot of updates there and i have been receiving requests from people to show them an easy to follow installation step. So in this video, I'm going to present you step by step instructions from scratch to install focus and then generate high quality images from your text prompts. So let's get right into it. And before that, let me give you a very quick overview of this focus software. So focus is an image generating application, which is based on graphical user interface application Gradio. It is a rethinking of stable diffusion and mid journey, which are very popular frameworks, tools, applications for AI powered image generation. But focus is offline. It is free and it is open source. One of the best thing about focus is that you don't need to worry about its technical implementation that much. You don't have to be an AI guru, even you don't have to be technical at all. You can simply install it very easily by following this tutorial and then you can play around with it so much so that you can just click two or three times and you should be done. Another cool thing is that GPU memory is required, but only 4 GP or 8 GP. That's it. You don't need any more than that because they have customized focus for commodity GPU hardware. I won't be using that less. I will be using um, NVIDIA RTX A6000 courtesy Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. So if you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPU so that you can easily run this or any other software. Let me also show you. This is the VM which I'm using Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me clear the screen and now let's begin the installation. The first step which we need to do is to make sure that we git clone the repo of focus. So let me clone that and don't worry about copy pasting all of these steps. I'm going to paste all of these steps in my blog and I will give you the link in video's description. So first up, I'm git cloning this repo that is done. Let's cd into that repo. Sorry, let's cd like cd and focus that's done next up we need to create a conda environment so and i would highly recommend that you install conda it's not mandatory but always a good idea so let me show you my conda environment i am running conda 24.5 if you don't know what conda is and how to install it please search my channel i have done a very easy to follow video already let me clear the screen and now let's create a conda environment by running this command conda environment create and it is going to use this environment file in order to create that environment so let's wait for it to get done shouldn't take too long and that is already done next up let's step into focus environment by activating it and you can see in the parenthesis on the left hand side let's install all the requirements in this conda, uh, conda environment let's wait for it to get installed and then we will proceed further. This is going to take a minute or so. And it has installed all the prerequisites and requirements and you can ignore those warnings. Let's clear the screen. So this is the whole installation. Now in order to run focus, all you need to do is to use this command Python entry with update. And that is also going to um, download all the models for you, which are required. But there is some enemy model and there's a realistic model you can also uh, do it individually but let's go with this one so let me run this command so you see as soon as you run it it is going to download the models for you so let's wait for it to get downloaded and make sure that you have around 8 to 10 gig available on your local disk 
and the model download is complete and after that it has started the application on our local system at port 7865 and once that's finished it should automatically open it in your browser like it has done it for me here as you can see okay so i have changed the theme of my browser to dogs because it is easier to understand and look and now let's generate your images all you need to do is to just type your prompt here and then click on generate so let me do that maybe i'll just say a rainbow with dreams and let's click on generate let's wait for it it is generate preparing the task and it is generating it look at the speed of it it is diffusing the image at the moment it seems wow look at the finished image here on the right hand side on the left hand side it is how it is creating it and there you go on the right hand side i'm already in love you know um i think focus is one of the best application out there all free all open source locally at this point in time you can just disconnect your internet and then keep playing with it okay so let's try to generate some of the humans let me put in some of the um, good prompts or maybe you know what let's also click on their enhance and then if you want to enhance it so i just click on it so you want to upscale it for example if you want to upscale two times or maybe i'll just say upscale and then click on generate let's see how upscaling works let's go up and we'll see and it's really good to see how they also show the diffusion process where it is just working in the latent space to remove the noise and blurriness and then create the actual image and look at the vividness of the image now how good is that amazing amazing stuff and then it is now upscaling the image you see the original and the killed one really i mean so if you have any blurred images you can even fix them great stuff so let it finish and then it's all done there you go so you have your pick whatever you like also you can give it an input image for example so as soon as you um, pick an image let me actually pick one so i'm just going to go into my home directory into images directory i'll just pick one of the one maybe i'll just go with my this image and then you can ask it to upscale this image so it's already good enough maybe i'll just go with another one how is that i think i already have it let's click on x here um i think i have a blurry one yeah blur one there you go so this is a blurred image let me do the uh, very let's do it strong and then i'll just remove this from here and then it says before after last enhancement that is fine let's click on generate let's wait for it let's wait for it okay so it has changed the image there you go you see this is simply out of this world seriously there you go look at that look at that amazing stuff amazing amazing stuff great stuff okay, let's wait for it to finish and then we will proceed further and there you go all done so i'm just going to maybe i'll also show you one more thing and by the way it has converted the skeleton anyway so let's try to talk with an image so i'm just going to uh, give it an ocr image here and then i'm just going to ask it um what's written in the image let's see if it can do the ocr or not but the main purpose of this focus in my eyes is to generate images from text prompt. There you go. So it is doing something and I'm letting it run so that you would also see the magic of it. There you go. So I don't think so. It is uh, doing those here, but as I said, the main purpose is the, uh, not those here, but to generate uh, images from text. So let's wait for it. And then we will play around with more uh, the original purpose of the focus cool there you go okay so i'm just going to delete this from here okay in the next one i am giving it lush green forest with sunlight filtering through the leaves also let's enhance it and also let's click on sorry let's click on advanced and in the advanced i'm just going to select this hyper sd and you see you can select it from quality speed or hyper sd so maybe i will just go with quality first 
and then I'm just going to initial preset I'll just keep the image number to one I just want to uh, do more and then you can select the PNG JPG JPEG or WebP so I'm just going to go with this one. okay let's click on generate let's wait for it to generate it and look at the quality of this image how good is that how good is that how beautiful look at the sun amazing amazing i mean this is all free open local source okay let's try out another one so I, i'm asking it an ethereal dreamlike environment with rolling hills of iridescent mist shimmering stardust and a glowing crystalline structure in the distance evoking a sense of wonder and enchantment let's wait for it to finish and look at this one how good it looks mist and dream like ethereal amazing stuff let's try out another one in this one i'm asking it high resolution photograph of a bustling street market vibrant colors with intricate texture of exotic fabrics fresh produce and local handicrafts amidst a sea of diverse faces and lively chatter look at that how realistic that looks how realistic out of this world okay let's try out another one in this one I'm asking it crystal clear turquoise water soft white sand and swaying palm trees with a few sailboats and yachts bobbing gently in the distance under a brilliant blue sky with just a few puffy white clouds and look at that oh my goodness amazing amazing feet sublime results Okay, let's try out another one in this one i'm asking it warm golden lighting spilling out of a rustic mountain lodge surrounded by a snow covered pine trees with a gentle snowfall and a frozen lake in the background evoking a sense of comfort and tranquility and you can see already that how good that looks it is upscaling the image from this to this and that is the finished image almost there amazing stuff look at that how good is that such a vivid crisp image okay let's try out another one now let's try to generate images of humans so i am asking it portrait of a young woman with a bright genuine smile subtle freckles scattered across her cheeks and a relaxed natural expression set against a soft creamy background with a hint of warmth look at that that is pure magic amazing stuff amazing stuff okay let's try out another one this is amazing stuff okay so in this one i'm asking it timeless timeless portrait of a young woman with a graceful cylinder neck soft focus and a delicate strand of pearl surrounded by a muted color palette with hints of ivory and champagne look at that so realistic amazing stuff what a result let's try out one more so i'm asking it highly detailed illustration of a rare exotic flower in the bloom with delicate petals and stamens and a few subtle water droplets set against a soft creamy background with a hint of vintage charm and look at that look at the droplets how good is that okay let's try out another one now in this one i am asking it hauntingly beautiful illustration of a lone dodo bird set against a muted vintage inspired background with subtle texture and earth, earthy tones capturing the essence of nostalgia and extinction because it's an extended bird how good is that wow this is look at the nostalgia and the loneliness amazing stuff Okay, let's try out another one now in this one i'm asking it sophisticated illustration of a luxurious wedding with a grand ballroom crystal chandeliers and a stunning couple exchanging vows exuding opulence and refinement let's wait for it look at the quality of the image look at this one amazing amazing stuff okay now i'm going to test it whether it is a censored or uncensored so what i'm going to do i'm going to pause the video here i'll do it myself 
and if it is censored one then i'll show you if it is uncensored then sorry you can try it out yourself and check it out so let me do that and i'll report back okay guys here is the news it is totally uncensored you can generate anything you want and i'm not going to go into the detail so you know you can just go crazy with it totally uncensored nothing refused creates everything anything you ask and don't ask me what i did anyway so look at this flower amazing amazing and i could you know i think i need to do other things too but i could just go on and on with this one amazing tool um really hats off to the creators there uh, let me see who they are let's go to their github repo and say thanks to the guy here so this is a guy Ilya swill so sorry i can't pronounce your name properly but you know what amazing stuff and all of these 45 plus contributor really hats off you are doing a great service and really cannot thank you guys enough of course i will drop the link to this repo in video description and i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about the video i hope that it was useful and if you liked it please consider subscribing to the channel and if you want to support the channel uh, please uh, feel free to buy me a coffee at this link from the home page of the channel or you could become a patron whatever you like and if you want to do me a favor please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching